So Eva, as part of your VR lab experience and with AR and VR within the meetup group, uh, I'm sure you see a lot of people that are like kind of on the cusp of, you know, is this something that I want to adopt? Is this something that I'm willing to spend money on? What do you think are the big triggers for most people that are kind of interested in the technology but haven't yet taken the leap? Yeah, so I think that a lot of people are just intimidated by um, virtual reality. That's what I found. Um, and the industry is so fragmented that they don't really know how to enter virtual reality. So what I found is that this is the entry point for virtual reality, is the iPhone. And um, you know, all you need is this inexpensive little viewer um, to view virtual reality. And with this, this is like an appetizer. So you can basically see if you even want to get, have the desire to do virtual reality. So I found that um, if I show people, like, it's this easy. You know, there's a few apps on your phone right now that do VR um, that are free. And, and so there's not really any barriers. Um, and people see that as, um, oh wow, I didn't know that, you know, let's, let's try this. And then they try it with their own smartphone, and then they're enticed to, you know, purchase the Gear VR, go deeper into it, and then they have that desire that they've created um, through what they already have, so. And how do you get people to that point? Is this something that you are making available uh, in your meetups for people to play around yes, with? Yes, like I, the, sell, the I sell these at the meetups. And um, you know, I partner with hardware partners like Prometo, um, you know, and basically just educate people because um, you know they need to be kind of shown and guided. And what I've also found is that virtual reality needs an operator. I mean, that's like a whole, that's like a job in itself. Is really, um, you know, to do these demos, you really need an operator to um, you know guide you through it. Like, I mean, I call it kind of like a VR shaman, you know, because it is like this kind of spiritual, like, drug-like experience sometimes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, that's definitely another way to do it.